I have a uh, saw stop uh, three horse uh, PCS system here and I believe the the deal is the same on all of the saw stops but I was under the impression that I could uh, put a dado blade on there and with the understanding that the safety feature was bypassed would be okay but that's not necessarily the case now with this unit right here that's normal and ready to go so we'll just shut that off and I'll unplug this <clears throat> that's 220 you don't want to get whacked by that there you go for your safety nuts all right so what we're going to do is I am going to um, pull out this saw blade here and we will uh, just see if it turns on with no saw blade and I think I went through this before and it won't it shows an error but we'll see the nice thing about saw stop is it does not take long to change a blade Now, my question is, do you think that'll spin? So I'm gonna plug it back in. And let's see what happens when we energize the system. The normal boot sequence. Uh-oh, it doesn't like that. So that's telling us something right there, that it will not turn on. I could try it. But you know it's going to happen. Nothing. So, turns out you got to buy one of these if you want to use a data blade. Now, the regular 10 inch saw looks like 70 bucks. This is 100 bucks. So, all right. I proved my point. Power's off. Units unplugged. Now this is what you got to do. It's really not that bad, other than spending a hundred bucks. Oh, and another sixty bucks for a blank insert. First thing we do: riving knife. According to the instructions, if that part uh, is not removed and you try to drive it through here. It will bend down and it will contact the blade and it'll cause a, uh, a trip and you'll be out quite a bit of money. So there's a little red knob right down here. Twist it. Unplug this one. I believe you have to. This one have one. Nope. There it goes. Goes back in there, just like that. Goes down in here. There it goes. Beat on a little bit. All right, there's that. This goes out of the way. You do not want that riving knife, anything to do with it grab a couple of blades I'm just gonna do a quarter inch don't need to carve out a huge chunk make sure they're both going the same direction There they are. You're supposed to check, but I think it's pretty close for an eight inch blade. They have a special tool. There's 
that part. Wow. Not actually hidden? Sure is. Well, they have a special tool for that. Supposed to be the thickness of this or about the thickness of a nickel. Take a little bit more. I wasn't expecting this delay. Shouldn't have to do that again, except when I put the other saw, the other blade back in. I'll probably have to do it again. All right. Check one more time. There we go. Now I'll crank the blade all the way down. Put this baby in there. These things aren't cheap, but I don't recommend making your own because of the locking mechanism. Remove riving knife before cutting. Okay. It's right here. Let's remove it. Maybe over here would be better. Now we're going to go ahead and make a shallow cut in this. I'm not going to cut all the way through uh, because I would like to use it as a zero clearance insert at some point. Dust collector. So now the big question is okay. Will it boot? Come on. There we go. All right, single green light solid. Okay, now I put the fence over this to hold this thing down. Hopefully it's down low enough where it's not going to be banging against it when I turn it on, but here we go. It says very slowly raise it. Oh, 
I'm raising it. And there we have it, saw stop dado blade. Ready to go in? Okay, all right, here we go. Let's see what this thing does. Perfect quarter inch wide groove. Wow, that is nice. Nice and square on the top. Okay.